Chemistry with Paper Clips and Pennies by Linda Gardner. Do you know you can do real chemistry experiments with stuff you have at home? Follow the directions below and you can give steel paper clips a copper coating with some help from old pennies. As a bonus, your pennies will look like new. What you need. To start, gather your supplies white vinegar, table salt, a small plastic bowl, paper towels, a glass measuring cup, a one teaspoon measuring spoon, twenty or more old pennies that look dull and dark, two or more new steel paper clips. They should not be labeled smooth finish or be covered with paint or plastic. What you do. Before you conduct your experiment, set aside one penny and one paper clip. Later, you can compare them to the other pennies and paper clips used in the experiment. Now it's time to mix your chemicals. First, pour about one quarter cup of vinegar into the bowl. Then, stir in one teaspoon of salt. Next, place the pennies in the bowl. Let them sit in the solution for about five minutes. Remove the pennies when they look bright and shiny. Then, rinse them off with water and place them on a paper towel to dry. What happens if you don't rinse them? Try it with a few and see. While the pennies are drying, put the paper clips in the bowl of solution. Let them soak until their color changes from silver to copper. It may take an hour or more, so be patient. Finally, rinse off the paper clips with water. Place them on a paper towel to dry. Why the experiment works. Every material on earth is made up of chemicals. Vinegar contains a chemical called acetic acid. The steel used to make paper clips contains iron and other chemicals. The copper in pennies is a chemical too. The changes you see in this experiment happen when chemicals combine or break apart. Old pennies become dull when the copper on the outside combines with oxygen in the air. This can take many years. The result is a new chemical called copper oxide. When you put pennies into a vinegar and salt solution, the acetic acid and salt work together. They dissolve the copper oxide. It becomes part of the solution. When you put steel paper clips in the solution, some of the iron in the steel dissolves as well. The copper in the solution and the iron that's left in the paper clip are strongly attracted to each other. So the copper ends up sticking to the paper clip. And that's how you use chemistry to make copper-plated paper clips.